So ladies and gentlemen, the Apple saga continues. Introducing the AirPods Max second generation. I picked them up in all colors to help you guys decide which one you should go with. This is gonna be an easy video because Apple didn't do anything to the AirPods Max other than introducing type C and brand new colors, it, which is the only reason why we're even here is because of the colors. Is this the midnight? Yes, this is the midnight and voila. You just have your USB-C for charging, no power brick in the box. Okay, so this is the fresh new AirPods in midnight. It has like a little blue finish. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison between the original AirPods Max to my left and the brand new AirPods Max to my right. So this is the space gray on the OG AirPods Max and we have the brand new midnight color. And right away, you could kind of see a little hint of blue I don't know why Apple loves this midnight color. Now I have to make a decision. Type C with the midnight color that I'm not really too much of a fan of or lightning. I don't know. But as you can see, everything is exactly the same. Same as that uh, headband. It's gonna show a little wear and tear. I had these since day one back in 2020. And take a look at the air cuffs here. There's gonna be a little wear and tear here, but you can clearly see a different color here. Let me check to see if the weight has changed. So I have my handy dandy scale here. So let's put this in grams. And the OG AirPods Max is 390 grams. And then the new AirPods Max. Oh, okay, 384. So it's not a big difference, but technically the new AirPods are a bit lighter, just a little bit. You're not gonna really notice it on a day to day, but Hey, that's something different. All right, so I have a couple of Apple products here. So I have my MacBook Pro in space black. And let me show you guys something before I even get to the iPhone. Look at the MacBook. This is one-to-one. -one. So when I'm on my MacBook and I have my AirPods Max on at Starbucks, it matches perfectly. Like, look at the, look at the color combination on this. And I don't know if the camera's doing any justice, but holy cow, this looks amazing. And even like when you open it up and it just matches, man. But now we got the new AirPods and it's like, it's a little off. The color's a little off. And then recently we got the brand new AirPod. Um, <laughs> we had the brand new uh, iPhone 16 Pro. This year I was gonna switch to black to match with my AirPods Max. And look, I'm walking around with no case and I have my AirPods Max on. This this matches perfectly just the black accents you can, you can kind of see like the matching details on that but now i roll around with the new airpods max and it just doesn't match properly you know what i mean it just doesn't match properly i mean you could still get away with it but i much prefer the space black or space gray this will match perfect if you have the m2 midnight all right so moving on we have the purple so this is a fresh new color actually one thing I got to say about Apple, when you unbox anything at Apple, you always get a pleasant experience. Especially if you drop almost $600 on headphones. Ooh, oh man, look at the purple. The purple one, there's no denying the purple one is really clean. All right, so same exact thing in the box and you guys can see the case. This lavender one is actually pretty good. Matter of fact, if you still have the iPhone 12, this will probably match perfect with the purple iPhone 12. Okay, so this is almost like a white kind of design on the top. I think this is gonna probably get dirty easy, so be careful with that. This canopy design is gonna, it's gonna show a little wear and tear throughout wears, but I really do like these headphones a lot. I travel with them, I go everywhere. <laughs> I go everywhere with these, I love them. The sound quality is phenomenal, but I just expected more. So inside the cuffs, kind of like they, they have this white kind of design on the top, on inside. Other than that, that is the lavender. All right, time for the blue. Yeah, I may have to retire the black one because, man, that one, that one, that one disappointed me. Yeah, this blue one is clean. Okay. Okay, let's take it out the case. I would say these are pretty clean. This will go perfect. If you have the iPhone 16 in Marine, this will look good. Actually, let me get that real quick. Even better yet, actually this doesn't really match it well. 
the teal, I was going to say the teal and the blue would probably go hand in hand, but eh, it looks fresh. It looks clean. And I tried even doing the ultramarine. Okay, move on. Or even so, if you have this Apple Watch band, mm, nah, it's a bit of a stretch. All right, let's move on. We have the Starlight. So, okay, so the Starlight is replacing silver. And I know some people out there, they, they miss the silver. Starlight, I actually like Starlight. Ooh, I may have to go Starlight this year. Starlight is looking right. Starlight is actually looking pretty good. So it has like this champagne gold kind of like. Yeah, I may have to go with the Starlight this year. Because who knows when Apple is going to refresh these. I mean, it might be another five years. And we probably get new colors. <laughs> and that's it. But to me, it's like the safest color to get. Because I'm a type of guy. I like to rock out with headphones with outfits that would match. So if I wear black, I wear like maybe my black AirPods Max. Or maybe I might wear the Sony XM5s with like a white t-shirt. I don't know. That's just who I am. That's just the tech side of me. I always pick different headphones for different outfits. <laughs> yeah, the Starlight is looking pretty good. Hey, all right, guys. So I have a bunch of products here. Now, I have the Beats pill. I made a little shorts on this. This matched perfectly. So you have like yourself a nice little setup, which this doesn't make sense because why would you wear headphones when you have a Bluetooth speaker? Um, I have the natural titanium iPhone 16 Pro. I think this is the color that you might want to get to match with it. Or, yeah, it's going to match best with it. And then, of course, we have the iPad mini. I'm waiting for Apple to refresh this. It's the mini 6. This is going to go hand in hand. So you're on your iPad and you just put on your AirPods Max. Now you're rocking out fresh. Throw on a white t-shirt. Because these things are fashion accessories, man. You know, AirPods, it's like you don't see... Like, anytime you walk around, you see somebody with AirPods on. So you may as well style these out. May as well. And here's how it look with the white. If you got a white iPhone, this is probably, like, going to be the, your only color. And honestly, you can really rock out with any color if you have white. The way I'm going to rank this, the Starlight number one. The blue one is nice. I'm going to rank that number two. Purple number three, Midnight at Last. I believe we have one more color. And I don't know what color. Oh, this is orange. Yo, my phones are going off because it's trying to connect to the AirPods. This has a salmon look to it. Okay, same as like things in the box, of course. Oops. And let's open this up. Ooh, this is bright. This is definitely the brightest color on this video so far. Um, this kind of reminds me of the pink. Okay. Okay. There you guys. There you guys go. It's a bit a little loud for me. Um, it's cool. It's not wrong with it. I can see it could probably work out for some people. And of course, this is like really over the top statuated. But I like this neutral kind of color to it. I don't know what device will match with this. Um, maybe if you have a case on. I'm going to put this. I'm just so disappointed with the, the, the Midnight, man. I am really am. It's not even a bad color. I, they should have just kept it black. This, eh, eh, eh. It's okay. So we have every single AirPods Max color right here on the table. And I think my preferred color this year is going to be Starlight. But yeah, I think I'm going to go with Starlight this year. But here's all the colors. If these are your first AirPods Maxes, the way you activate them, you just open up your phone and it's going to come up on the side if you want to activate it. All right, there we go. So it comes up right there, AirPods Max. You just tap on connect. You know what? Since we're here, we may as well connect it, do a little sound test. And once you tap on connect, that's it. It's going to give you a rundown on how to uh, control the noise. So you have transparency. And you have the uh, noise canceling, meter control. There's no power button. I know a lot of people complain about this, but I love the fact how this doesn't even have a power button because all you have to do, you just put them on. And as soon as you put them on, I would even say, ooh, I love AirPods Max. Oh my God. These headphones are freaking incredible. Man, and the thing is, Apple knows these headphones are so good that they don't even need to do anything. 
these sound good uh, let me go back in the xm5s too um, just the colors just showing you guys the different colors because i had lighter colors before so going with the the light airpods max isn't too bad but you guys can see design wise airpods max just look better but the sony's i love the sony's too man like when you use the sony's the air cushion just feels amazing but these feel good too like i both these headphones i flip flop between the two every single time when i'm traveling i could go either or i could pick any mini money mo catch a pot at pot of toe i don't know what they say but i could pick any one of these headphones and i'll be good i don't have no complaints the sony's they knock it out of the park with the xm5s and apple with the airpods max they both winners in my book but if you're in that apple ecosystem the airpods max might work a little bit better Everything just seamlessly connect. We got to make sure the Type C works, right? That's one of the highlight features. At least it's braided for the first time ever. Type C. Oh, it feels so weird. To test out the charging, we could plug it into our iPhone and it's going to charge right up. So you guys can see that indicator light there. That means it is charging. Thanks to the iPhone's Type C, you guys can see it there on my AirPods Max 2. It is charging up. Not the AirPods. Uh, the regular one on the top is the one that says airpods 2 I could have did so much more. Okay. All right. Let me end out this video Thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed Appreciate it with a thumbs up. Make sure you guys comment down below. Which of these are your favorite colors? Um, like I said starlight is probably my favorite one out of all of these but um, you guys be the judge until next time I hope you all have a simple day